Bob Good here with your weekly Good News from Washington. I was able to host my first press conference this week as the chairman of the House Freedom Caucus, and we were focused on the reforms necessary for the FISA, uh, Foreign uh, Intelligence Surveillance Act, uh, where it's up for reauthorization or extension, and we are just determined as House Freedom Caucus to not allow it to be extended or reauthorized without the necessary reforms to protect your constitutional liberties and freedoms. Bottom line, we cannot allow the federal government to continue to spy on U.S. citizens without a warrant or allow the federal government to purchase data from private companies that would otherwise require a warrant or to expand their, their spying capacity to private businesses' Wi-Fi hotspots. Think of like a, a, a coffee shop or a restaurant or a hotel or for the federal government to add more ways to spy on U.S. citizens. Paramount has got to be protecting our constitutional liberties and freedoms. We can't sacrifice that in the name of safety. I also participated in my good friend Chip Roy and Andy Biggs press conference, uh, standing up for what are called the, the DC-5, those babies that were uh, victims of partial birth abortion at a DC abortion clinic. Their remains were found, and so far the, uh, the Metropolitan Police in, D in DC or the Department of Justice have refused to do an investigation, an autopsy, to determine, uh, confirm these, whether these babies were victims of partial birth abortion or whether or not they were, say, survived an abortion and they were allowed uh, to just die after surviving an abortion. Uh, this needs to be investigated, and those who uh, may have perpetrated this need to be held accountable. Uh, this week on the floor, we voted to impeach Secretary Mayorkas, the Department of Homeland Insecurity under Joe Biden, who has helped perpetrate the border invasion Thankfully, we passed that out of the House. It now goes to the Senate. Uh, we have 10 million pieces of evidence, the 10 million illegals who made our country that have, have made Secretary Mayorkas and, for that matter, Secretary, uh, President Biden guilty of perpetrating a foreign invasion on our soil, and he should be held accountable for that. Uh, the Senate is, has passed a huge $100 billion spending bill with Ukraine funding, uh, Taiwan funding, Gaza funding, which would ultimately go to Hamas, combined with Israel funding uh, that's not paid for. Speaker Johnson has said that it's dead on arrival in the House and that we're not going to take it up. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to uh, influence him to hold that line, to show that resolve, that supplemental package like that must be paid for, and they should also be broken up separately and considered on their own merits, not packaged together. For that matter, we ought not to be worrying about securing other nations' border and defending them when we've got our own border uh, wide open and allowing, again, illegals to invade our very uh, country. And our budget committee this week, we had a hearing on uh, the Congressional Budget Office, the CBO, and the new baseline they've put out, which continues to get worse in terms of our national debt and our spending. Uh, soon our interest payments on the debt are going to be the largest budget item. That's, again, all the more reason why we got to get our fiscal house in order and cut our spending. Uh, in the Workforce Pro Protection Subcommittee hearing, I had the opportunity to question a Biden official who has no idea. She has requested a 31 percent increase in her budget and has no idea about our national debt, how much it is, and didn't seem to be at all concerned about that, which is not surprising coming out of the Biden uh, administration. Then finally, I chaired a health subcommittee hearing uh, where we talked about the Department of Labor's new effort to bring more rules, more regulations, more mandates on the, uh, the, 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 the those who provide re uh, retirement investment uh, services that would just cost more for those retiring and, and really diminish the quality of the services they receive. This is, again, once a, a classic Biden government knows best, which ends up hurting consumers. Just want to thank you again for the privilege to represent you in Washington.